Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install AD Connect and configure filter by security groups. So instead of filter by OU, you can only you can configure and filter by by as, um, security groups. In case you want to, you know, start your piloting, so I recommend filter by OU, uh, by um, security groups. Let's go ahead and take a look at my environment here. I do have um, a group that I want to sync. It is called test group. And the account in this test group is Johnny Cloud. So now let's go ahead and install AD Connect. I'm going to download AD Connect. Type in download AD Connect. Should be the first one here. Download. It's going to take a few seconds. Right, let's open it up. So the new the new files is this one here. I'm gonna double click. I'm gonna run. So the account so this user account should not already sync let's go ahead and look at the office 365 portal admin center <clears throat> go to users active users let's type in johnny okay as you can see it's not there let's go back to the the installation click on agree click on customize make sure you select specify custom sync groups click next you don't need to fill in anything here click on install It's going to take a few minutes. I'm probably going to pause the video and we'll come back. All right. I'm going to choose path through authentication and enable sync and sign on. I'm going to click next. Enter the O365 credential. It should be your global admin. I'm going to click add the um, force. This is the 
domain admin account that I need to enter or enterprise admin account. Right click next. Okay, that's fine. Uh, check the box here. Click next. That's fine. You make you want to make sure you sync all domain and OUs. Click next. So in this one, make sure you enter the security groups that you want to sync. Even though you have it set to sync all domain and OUs, it's not going to sync. It's going to sync everything if you don't add in the security groups here. So as you can see here, if you select this selected um, synchronization selected it's that means it's going to sing only the security groups use this option to pilot azure active directory connect for a small group of users if you specify an active directory group it will sing sync, sync, synchronize only members that group member of that group so you want to make sure you enter that um, my test group Resolve, it should find it. Click next. That's fine. If you are using Exchange Hybrid, as you plan to deploy Exchange Hybrid, you have to select Exchange Hybrid. So I'm not going to do that for this video. I'm going to click next. Click next. So it's going to start syncing automatically. And if you don't want to um, inf uh, force the sync, you can enable stage mode. I'm going to click on install. This is going to take a few minutes. I'm going to pause the video and uh, we'll return. All right, look like the configuration is completed. I'm going to exit out. Let's go to synchronization service. Oops, that's right in. I'm going to run as administrator. Look like it's successfully sync. All right, let's go into 365, look for Johnny again. There it is. It shouldn't sync this account. Let's look for it. Yep. So this account is not member of the test group. So it didn't show up. So that's it. That's how you configured um, AD Connect filter by security groups 
And if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.